BCPS families, thank you for joining us for a pre-K ELA lesson. Today we will read Growing Vegetable Soup by Lois Ellert. After reading, we will sort pictures of food to show if they are healthy or unhealthy. Then you'll have a chance to discuss and write about the importance of healthy food. We'll finish up today's lesson by sharing ways to continue your learning at home. Hello, Pre-K families and ABC families who might be watching today. My name is Barbie Pullman and I'm a resource teacher with the Office of Early Childhood. I work with the Elisa Brandwine Center, also called ABC. We travel to several area Title I schools and teach caregiver child school readiness classes for children ages zero to four. If you're interested in finding out more about our program, you can visit the BCPS website and click on Office of Early Childhood. Before we begin our pre-K ELA lesson today, we need to do a brain smart start to get our brain ready for learning. There are four components in the brain smart start. The first one is called Unite. We'll sing our welcome song today to unite us all. Clap your hands with me. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. Can you clap your hands like so? Then bend down and touch your toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. You did it. The second step in the Brain Smart Start is called Disengage Stress. We're going to do a breathing technique today called pretzel breathing. This goes along great with our lesson about healthy foods. I work with very young children, so when we do pretzel breathing, we simply cross our arms over our chest, the way a pretzel is crisscrossed. Now, we're gonna breathe in through our nose, and then we'll release our arms as we breathe out like this. We're gonna do this breathing strategy three times. Ready? In through your nose, and out. In through your nose, and out. Last one. You did it. The third step in our Brain Smart Start is called Connect. It's where you make a connection with someone. If you're sitting by yourself right now, call over a family member to join you. My older daughter is here with me today and we're going to teach you how to do an I love you ritual called Little Miss Muffet. Now you might've heard Little Miss Muffet before. In this rhyme, we're changing some of the words. Today, Little Miss Muffet is going to be eating some oatmeal. That's a yummy, healthy food. We're also going to change the last line of the nursery rhyme. Watch as my daughter and I demonstrate how to do it, and then you can try it along with us. First, we're going to hold up our tuffets. It's like a little pillow or a stool. Then we have to decide who's going to be Little Miss Muffet and who's going to be the spider. Who would you like to be? Little Miss Muffet. Okay. Little Miss Muffet is going to hold up her two fingers on her other hand. And I'll be the spider, and I will walk this way in just a few moments. Here we go. Watch how we do it. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her oatmeal today. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and said, Have a great day. Now it's your turn. Hold up your hand to be the tuffet and decide which part you're going to play. Will you be Little Miss Muffet or will you be the spider? Okay, let's try it. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her oatmeal today. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and said, have a great day. You did it. You can keep practicing that I love you ritual by using the resource found in your print pathway packet. The fourth step in the Brain Smart Start is called Commit. It's where you make a promise for how you will do your best learning today. I commit to using my listening ears so I can hear all of our new information. Show us your listening ears. You got it. Let's get started on our lesson. Read our I can statement along with me. I can sort foods to show if they are healthy or unhealthy. 
I remember the word sort from math. It's when we put objects into groups based on their attributes, such as color, shape, or size. Today, we will be sorting foods into two groups, healthy and unhealthy. We will learn about these two words next. Hey boys and girls, take a look at what I have in front of me. What do you see? You're right, these are vegetables. Let's see if you can name them with me. This is a head of lettuce. These are carrots. This is a stalk of celery. See the leaves at the top? Here is a potato. And finally, this leafy vegetable is called spinach. Do you have a favorite vegetable that you like to eat? Try and tell a family member which one it is. Now, where do vegetables come from? You're right, vegetables begin as a seed. Take a look at this picture. A seed is planted into the ground. With water and sun, the seed grows into a plant. Are vegetables healthy? Yes, vegetables are healthy because they are packed with vitamins and nutrients that help our body to grow, to be strong, and to feel good. For example, these carrots contain vitamin A, which is good for our eyes. What does it mean to have a healthy diet? A healthy diet means that we try to include healthy foods in most of our meals and snacks. This can be tricky because I know many of us like to eat foods like these. I have some cheese curls, a cookie, and a chocolate. These foods are called unhealthy. They contain lots of sugar and fat that do not help our body to grow strong. Does that mean that we can't eat these foods at all? No, these are sometimes foods that means they are okay to eat occasionally, but we need to include healthy foods in most of our meals, like these vegetables. Now we will read the story, Growing Vegetable Soup. It is written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. That means she wrote the words and drew the pictures. Look on the cover. What do you notice or wonder? I see a red tomato. I wonder if there will be tomatoes in the soup. Did someone in the book grow this tomato? As you read today, think about how the different vegetables are grown. See if you can name some of the vegetables used in the soup. Growing Vegetable Soup, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. We are planting the seeds and all the sprouts and giving them water and waiting for warm sun to make them grow and grow, and grow into plants. We watch over them and weed until the vegetables are ready for us to pick or dig up and carry home. Then we wash them and cut them and put them in a pot of water and cook them into vegetable soup. At last it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. The end. Wow, look at all the vegetables in the soup. Where did these vegetables come from? That's right, the characters in the book planted seeds. They took care of the seeds by watering them and giving them sun. Then 
they picked them or dug them up. Do you think these vegetables are healthy foods? Yes, you're right. Vegetables are healthy. They are plants that have many nutrients to help us grow, to give us energy, and to make us feel good. Now it's time to learn about which foods are healthy and unhealthy. We will pretend that these are two pots for cooking. One pot is for healthy food. The other pot is for unhealthy food. Look at this picture of a tomato. I remember from our story that the tomato grew on a plant. This must be a healthy food. I'll place it in the healthy pot. Here's a carrot. In our story, the characters dug up the carrot from the ground. This must be a vegetable. I know vegetables are healthy, so I'll put the carrot in the healthy pot. This picture shows candy. I know candy has lots of sugar. I need to put this candy in the unhealthy pot. Your turn to help. Here's a banana. Should this go in the healthy pot or the unhealthy pot? You're right, healthy. Bananas are fruits that grow in trees. Let's put it in the healthy pot. This picture shows soda. Should this go in the healthy or the unhealthy pot? You're right, unhealthy. Soda contains lots of sugar, so we'll put it in the unhealthy pot. Look at this picture of broccoli. Should this go in the healthy or the unhealthy pot? You're right, healthy. I remember in our story, the characters removed the weeds around the broccoli as it grew. Broccoli is a vegetable with many healthy nutrients. This is a picture of a bag of chips. Are these chips healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Chips are fried in lots of oil, which is unhealthy for us. Let's put these chips in the unhealthy pot. Here is an apple. Where should this go? It belongs in the healthy pot. An apple is a fruit that grows on a tree. I know that fruits are healthy. Take a look at all these healthy foods. What do you notice about them? I notice that they are all fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are plants that grow from seeds. This tells me that foods we grow, like in the story, growing vegetable soup, must be healthy for me. Think for a moment about why it is important to eat healthy food. Turn and tell a family member. What is your favorite healthy food to eat? Turn and tell your family member again. After this lesson, you can draw and write your responses on the June 12th Social Studies resource from the Print Pathway Packet. Hi, boys and girls. We've been doing a lot of sitting and listening today. So now it's time for us to take a brain break. Wherever you are, go ahead and stand up. We're going to pretend to make a vegetable garden today. First, we need to gather our tools. Go ahead, put your gardening gloves on. Go get your garden rake. Get your shovel. Oh, don't forget your watering can. Got it. Now that we have our tools ready, we will sing a song and do some actions as we make our garden today. Some of our actions will cross the midline. That means that we will reach across our body to the other side. This is important because it wakes up both sides of your brain. All right, are you ready to get started? I see lots of soil here. We need our rake to turn up that soil. You ready? Grab your rake and we'll sing. This is the way we rake the soil. Rake the soil, rake the soil. Go to the other side. 
This is the way we rake the soil so we can make a garden. Now it's time for us to dig that hole. Get your shovel. Here we go. This is the way we dig a hole. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Go the other way. This is the way we dig a hole so we can make a garden. Oh, do you have your seeds ready? Let's plant our seeds down in the hole. Ready? This is the way we plant our seeds. Plant our seeds, plant our seeds. This is the way we plant our seeds so we can make a garden. Now let's cover up those seeds with the soil. Ready? This is the way we cover the seeds. Cover the seeds, cover the seeds. This is the way we cover the seeds so we can make a garden. Oh, do you have your watering can? Let's give them some water. Here we go. This is the way we water the seeds. Water the seeds, water the seeds. This is the way we water the seeds so we can make a garden. Oh, look, I see the sun. This is the way the sun will shine. Sun will shine, sun will shine. This is the way the sun will shine so we can make a garden. It looks like they're growing. This is the way the seeds will grow. Seeds will grow, seeds will grow. This is the way the seeds will grow so we can make a garden. You did it. You took a brain break to get your brain ready to learn. Hi, boys and girls. I just walked out to the garden and look what I found. All these foods have grown. This must be a make-believe garden. I don't think all these foods really grow from the ground. I'm going to need your help today to pick all of these items. As we pick the food, we're going to sort them out. We'll put healthy foods on this plate and unhealthy foods on this plate. Are you ready to help me? Great. When I show you a food item, you can tell me if it's healthy by showing me this body movement. You'll make muscles with your arms to show you the food would keep you healthy and strong. If the food is unhealthy, you'll go like this with your hands to show me no, this is an unhealthy food. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hmm. I see what looks like broccoli. We talked about broccoli earlier today. Do you remember? Is broccoli healthy or unhealthy? You're right if you said healthy. Broccoli will go on our healthy plate today. Oh, I see this. It looks like a stick of butter. Is butter a healthy or an unhealthy food? If you said unhealthy, you're right. Butter has a lot of fat, so it's a food we should eat only sometimes. This looks like an orange. Is an orange a healthy food or an unhealthy food? If you said healthy, you're right. Oranges are loaded with vitamin C and this helps to keep your immune system strong. Let's put it on the healthy plate. Hmm, this looks like a bottle of soda. Is soda a healthy food or an unhealthy food? You're right, unhealthy. Soda has too much sugar. We'll put it here. This looks like a bunch of grapes. Are grapes healthy or unhealthy? Grapes are a healthy fruit. Let's put it with the healthy foods. Hmm, this looks to me like french fries. Are french fries healthy or unhealthy? If you said unhealthy, you're right. Although they come from potatoes, they are fried in oil, which has too much fat for us. We're going to put it on the unhealthy plate. This looks like corn. Show me with your body. Is corn healthy or unhealthy? Corn is healthy to eat. Let's add it with our healthy foods. I see a pear. Are pears healthy or unhealthy? Pears are a healthy fruit. We're going to set it here. Oh, one last item. This looks like a cupcake. Are cupcakes healthy or unhealthy? 
Cupcakes are unhealthy. This is a food you should eat only sometimes. Wow, now our plates are full of food. Thank you for helping me sort out the healthy and the unhealthy foods today. You did it. Hi boys and girls, you've been working hard sorting foods into two groups, healthy and unhealthy. When our lesson is over today, you have a job. You're going to make some pretend soup. You will make one pot of healthy soup and one pot of unhealthy soup. To complete this task, you'll need two pots. You can use real pots from your kitchen. You can draw two pots on a piece of paper, or you could use paper plates to be your pots like I did. Next, you'll need to find some pictures of food. You can draw them yourself. You can look in your print pathway packet, or you could search through grocery store advertisements or magazines. Would you like to see what my healthy pot of soup looks like? Here it is. I included many fruits and vegetables in my healthy pot of soup, such as grapes, cucumbers, strawberries. I also included some other kinds of healthy foods, such as milk, fish, and chicken. Here's my unhealthy pot of soup. It looks like this. I included things such as candy, chips, ice cream, and cake. These foods are not very nutritious for us, so we call them unhealthy. We should eat these foods only sometimes. Now it's your turn to show what you know. You will play a soup making game. Begin by gathering pictures of food. You can cut out pictures from grocery store advertisements, draw your own, or use the food pictures in your print pathway packet. Next, you will need two pots. You can get two real pots from your kitchen or draw two pots on a paper. Designate one pot as the healthy pot and one pot as the unhealthy pot. Place the food pictures in their corresponding pots. Take a look at your healthy pot of soup. Which healthy food would you like to try? After you have finished your soup sorting game, here are some other activities to try. Pretend to gather vegetables from a garden. Make up a silly chant and include movements. For example, you might chant, jump up, turn around, dig the carrots from the ground. Reach across your body with one arm to gather the vegetable. Then repeat with the other arm. Crossing the midline helps activate both sides of the brain for learning. Make your own vegetable soup. Does your family have a favorite recipe? Plant vegetable seeds in a large flower pot or container to create your own vegetable garden. When preparing meals and snacks, talk about the healthy foods you're using and why our bodies need them. You did it. You listened to the book Growing Vegetable Soup and then we're able to sort foods into healthy and unhealthy categories. This helps build your language development and it will help you to make healthy food choices as you grow. To say goodbye, we will say our goodbye chant. Hands up high and hands down low. We're the BCPS family wherever we go. Bye-bye.